feel it. Exactly. That's what they say when you when you want to make a success in this business. Of course, talent helps. Uh, where'd you get your inspiration from? Well, you just told me just the urban uh, neighborhood. Yeah, just growing up in the streets mm -hmm. and wanting to, you know, get better and do better things. You know what I mean? So I made me, you know, work hard at trying to do this. I assume you're wearing your stuff. Can we see your first uh, young hunk? A young guy, young man. <laughs> And tell us a little about what he's wearing. Well, he's wearing some um, some of our fall fashion. It's called a Dittmas plaid jacket. We got some overalls on, a nice piquet shirt with a nice crocodile mm -hmm. embroidery on it. So, why so much room? Why do, they, why do they, uh, young people go to so much room in their clothes? Because you know, they want to feel comfortable when they're wearing their clothes, you know what I mean? And some older people can't really get with it because it's You know different. why? Why? Because we can't really see the bod. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> Okay, we have the next young man. All right, he's wearing, this is called a virgin wool shirt. It's more of a, one of our more expensive shirts that we have on our line. That retails for about $150. Mm -hmm. And he has some corduroys on. We call it the Brooklyn Roy, just, you know, giving props to Brooklyn. He also has some of the Carl Kanai shoes on as well, because we have boots. So we didn't get quite suit. down there. Can we just take a second to, to take a look at the boots? Yeah, there we go. We don't want to talk about them and not be able to see. That's not good TV. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you have your stuff in Macy's? Yeah, we have stuff in Macy's in the parents' day yesterday. This is very nice looking. So this is some more Not of our... Not that the others weren't, but I really like it. <laughs> this is some more of our wool product again. You know, he has some khaki overalls uh, underneath it. Like I said, we try to develop the line and get better. Each year we're trying to progress the line and do better things and so we could be up more the upscale brand. Tell us about the shoes, because they are really popular. Definitely. What we did was we saw a lot of people was wearing our clothes, so we decided to come out with our own brand of shoes. It's more, it's, it's a real rugged sports wear You can hurt somebody with those things. No question. <laughs> you definitely get the job done. And all of our shoes come with a little metal logo on the side. They have a little metal plate on the side of our boots and stuff and like that. And it says? Carl Kanai. And that's my birthday <laughs> How did on I there. know that? <laughs> <laughs> it has your what? My birthday on there. So they could buy your boots, they could give you a present. And Is that the deal? Exactly. So I'll make sure I get enough gifts for my birthday. All right, Carl. I guess we're not, uh, we weren't born yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, so that does it for the clothing. Um... We want to know, at what point did you know that you could make it in the fashion industry? Because it is a tough business to break into. Well, I knew I could make it when, um, when I started getting my stuff into the stores and seeing the reaction that I was getting from it. You know, people finally said, hey, this kid can really design, he can really produce a product that sells. And when you start getting stores calling you up for reorders, you know at that point that you had something that they needed. But that's another panic point, because now you've been doing a few pieces, right. now they want quantity. Right, and then that's what really proves a real designer, because you have to design season after season, and if you don't do good the first season, you're going to have to try harder the next season to, you know, capitalize on your mistakes. Um, did you personally uh, try to sell your stuff to the department stores, or uh, did they come after you? How does that, you know, it's so, it's so well, much involved here. Well, well, basically what happens is they have these trade shows that you go to, and you display your line at the shows. A lot of times, department... You can just walk in and be there? No, no, no. You got to go through a whole little process and get there and everything <laughs> like that. You got to, you know, get your booth and you got to pay for the space and everything. But a lot of times, people don't even want to buy your clothes unless there's demand for it. So what I did was create a demand for the product before I approached the department store to sell it to them. Mm -hmm. I made the kids go in there asking for it first. So by the time I got to them, they were like, we have to at least try it out. What's giving you your biggest satisfaction? The biggest satisfaction is just to see people wearing my clothes and supporting it and being able to relate to me because I only could design to what I know, you know, design from the streets of Brooklyn. So mm -hmm. I just like to see the people wearing it and, you know, giving props because I'm opening up the doors for a lot of other black designers too. I should say, I mean, you really have a blaze the path uh, for the, this particular kind of clothing and I imagine down the line you'll expand because the person who's going to be successful has to keep moving. No question. And it's good to see you guys walk into the shot again so we can get a, <laughs> another good look at you. Uh, well, that is um, our, our show for the day. We're going to throw it back to Matt in a second, but I appreciate you uh, coming by and showing us the fall fashion. Just giving us a little insight for us folks who might not have gotten hip to this line oh. yet. You know what I mean? I'm still kind of wearing my stuff. <laughs> I'm still, I got, you know, I'm not baggy yet. Thank you coming. very much. A pleasure meeting right, you guys. Thank you very much. Matt? All right, Sue, thanks very much. That is Live at 5 for this Friday afternoon. We thank you for watching.